Yeah. He said, my father, God, Father, God abides in me. Mm -hmm. God the Son. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if you can't see I'm the king. Mm -hmm. I am the king. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you can't see that I am a believer. I'm a believer. Yes. You can't see. It doesn't matter to me if you don't see that I'm blessed and highly favored. I am blessed and highly favored. That's right. You have to have it down on the inside because the Lord is abiding in him and he abides in me. You keep watching. Mm -hmm. It'll show up. That's right. If you keep watching. Amen. Thank you. Don't count me out. Don't count me out. Don't count me out. Because I abide in him and he's just pulling me right now. He's just cutting and clipping and cutting and clipping. So I will come forth greater. Greater than what I was before. But since you got to sit still and be cut. You got to be cut. Because if you ain't cut, then the bridge will break off when the storm comes. Yeah. And what you do with that stick that finger? You went out there, clean them up, and pile them up. Mm -hmm. I'm them up girl. And it wasn't just a twig. You can't fail. Yeah. And you hollering, and all he want to do is cut off your lip. All he want to do is cut off your line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. That's all. He ain't trying to stop you from talking. Mm -hmm. I just gonna clip the line at you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all. <laughs> yeah, he won't even clip the gossip in the light at the same time he'll slip it and come back. Yeah, <laughs> come back later. Come back later. Because he knew if he clipped it all at the same time, you would be thinking about what you have to tell him. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm serious about that. Yeah, that's I'm serious about that. I got saved 30 years ago. I'm talking about pulling the mighty butterfly, had the Holy Ghost on the inside, and the only thing that God took from me after He filled me was smoking. Mm. Everything else I still had. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I was not sorry because. Now the Damascus Road. He didn't slap me one time and I got up straight. Amen. 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 He just don't have to hit me as hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But like I said, there's the only thing. I stopped smoking and he filled me with the Holy Ghost. And I'm talking about with speaking in tongues, loving him, on the shout and pray and run and kill everybody back. And I'm still talking about folks. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's great. Because he took it then. What would I have to do? The whole Lord's going to go. I needed something. I needed a crush. He got me where I could stand. Because I wasn't straight. I was, I was coming. Mm -hmm. I was coming. And bless the name of Jesus. I was wish right now I could tell you I was standing straight. But as I got rid of them things out of Well, what are you trying to tell us? Now get ready to close now. I 
pray that with these next couple of days, as we minister and we chat and we, we expect your fruit and we say, talk back, that you will learn to let the troubles, the storms, the disappointments, the hurt that has come in your life work for you and not against you. Because the best way to mount up is to see your problem and decide that you want to look down on it and not have it on you. But that's a matter of decision. Amen. 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 Wow, y'all are so attentive and I gave y'all a whole hour and 15 minutes. Y'all mm -hmm. listen to me. To a while. Y'all listen to the whole ghost. You got to go now. You got to go now. We're going to wait on Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. You get that way. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, listen, man. What you do? Bible said our mind gave us a mind. It may be renewed and transformed in our mind. Our mind is just like a computer. Once you get it, it's there. Amen. It's just that you have to be put in a situation to make you put it back up. Amen. 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 Automatically remember it. Not wow. all of it. But be put in a situation. Yeah, come on. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because we're getting ready to pray. We're getting ready to go boldly before the throne of grace. Thank you, Jesus. And we need to take to God those things that's keeping us from abiding in His Word. <clears throat> those things that you know, that if they keep knocking at your door, I'm going to step out of the perfect will of God and do it my way. See, I didn't say the wrong way, I said your way. And what it is, we want to be able to wait on God. But the scripture says, and be of good courage while we're waiting. How do we be of good courage while we're waiting? Because we know he's going to do what he said he will do. Yes. He is faithful who has promised. Yes. So what is that thing that keeps you from abiding in that? What is that thing that keeps you, I mean, just tugging at your heart, at your mind? You know, you know, you know. I, you don't need no prophet to come and look into your life and tell you. What you need to do is be able to sit with yourself and look down in your soul. Okay? Yes. And find out what it is that troubles me, that keeps me from abiding in the perfect will of God. That is for my life. Not for Pastor Sarah or Pastor Cynthia's life, but for my life. God, what is it that has come in that has well, just, just, if it hit me, it's going to knock me right off the foundation that I'm now standing on and I'm no longer alive. I won't trust in Him. What is the thing that comes and makes you want to pick up the phone and call somebody? Because if I got to call somebody, that thing, if I don't get it under control, will keep me from alive. It'll keep me from alive. Because God, what I want to do, I want to rest in you, I want to dwell in you, I want to be anchored in you, so that as I get anchored in you, I can just go on, God, to higher heights and deeper depths. God, that I can know you in a way that I've not known you before. I can build a relationship with you. Because that's what abide is all about, is relationship. It's about relationship. Because if you stay with somebody long enough, you'll build a relationship. And then when you wake up one day and say, this ain't working, you don't build such a relationship, it's hard for you to say, I need to leave. See, abiding is about a relationship. Building a relationship with God. Building a trust between you and Him. See, because He said He is faithful who has come. He knows He's faithful, but would you trust me to be faithful? I want you to abide in Him. Let's abide in Him. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord. Mm. With all our shall come. All our disappointments. God, I bring to you even now those things, God, that I know that if we don't get a handle on, God, it will pull me out of your grace. Yes. 
Not that your grace isn't sufficient for me, God, but this thing will make me forget that your grace is sufficient. God, I come to you broken, shattered, needing to be put back together again. But God, this time I need you to do it. I tried it before and I got some of the pieces wrong. Father, I need your very presence right now. God, I need to feel your anointing resting upon me, beginning to destroy those things that are choking me. God, in the name of Jesus, even if it's my hand around my neck, God, I need you to pull my fingers all around my neck because, God, I'm choking the life out of me. Yes. I need you. I need you. God, I want to do so much for the kingdom. I want to do a greater work for you. But God, tonight I want my greatest work to be. I give you me. I lay me at the altar. And say, God, begin a work in me that will make me holy, that will make me acceptable, that I might be used of you. Oh, my Jesus, I lay aside all my ways right now. And God, these are those ways. I need you to tell me. 